Professor Tom Bridgman has been studying the ecology of Lake Erie for 15 years. Today, he and his team of researchers from the University of Toledo are launching a buoy, a virtual floating laboratory to monitor the water quality and weather about three miles offshore. In Toledo, concentrations of algae, or algal blooms, caused a health emergency in 2014. The algae injected high levels of toxins into the city's water supply, making it unsafe to drink. It's a crisis that could have been averted with data from buoys. When the Toledo water crisis happened, there were no buoys in the water in the area. And so the water treatment plant didn't know that they were having a problem until a large concentration of algae was already in the water plant. If they had had a buoy next to their intake, like as they do now, or in Maumee Bay, as they do now, they would have seen it coming and they would have been able to increase their treatment processes in time to prevent that crisis. 90 miles away, Cleveland's water quality manager, Scott Meglin, keeps a close eye on data from that buoy and a network of other buoys and data collection points in Lake Erie's central and western basins. That data is made available online through the Great Lakes Observing System, or GLOSS. The GLOSS network is part of a larger national and global partnership of government, academic, and private observing systems. GLOSS is the center of this data-sharing community in the Great Lakes. It collects, organizes, and provides real-time environmental data, as well as forecasts and historical data for all of the Great Lakes. The data is available for free online to everyone, including boaters and recreational users, businesses, scientists, and government officials, such as municipal water managers. We can't get out there and that's what these buoys do. They're our eyes and our, really our mobile laboratory out in the lake where we can't be all the time. Cleveland funds two buoys that are part of the GLOSS data sharing network. The GLOSS data provides Cleveland water with advanced warning of issues that can impact water quality and water treatment required for the 1.4 million customers it serves. As we look at this data and we see the trending of it, the GLOSS data in, in particular is uh, an enormous amount of data. And to be able to use that to see these trends and see when something gets outside of the norm, that's when the alarm goes off. Okay, I need to watch something. In Cleveland, one of the concerns is hypoxia, or so-called dead zones, that can occur in the middle of Lake Erie. Hypoxia can cause odor or taste issues and an increase in dissolved metals in the water. Once we get an understanding of how Lake Erie moves, not only surface currents, but currents throughout the lake water column, that becomes more important to us as we begin to understand the dynamics of Lake Erie and how to predict hypoxic events. For the 34 million people who depend on the Great Lakes, the data Gloss collects from its network of partners is critical from saving lives and protecting property to enabling better long-term monitoring of important natural resources, GLOSS is transforming the way we interact with and manage the Great Lakes. The volume of water in those five lakes together, that's 20% of the world's fresh water is sitting right here in our backyard. What an amazing, amazing resource we have. And we shouldn't take it for granted. I don't think of it as just our water, I think of it as the planet's water. We're, we happen to live here, but we're stewards of the Great Lakes for everyone on the planet. Gloss is proud to contribute to that stewardship, providing the data and the data tools to help improve safety, enhance the economy of the region, and protect our environment. <laughs>